Okay. This is the last time I'm talking about this. Because I knew what was going to happen the first time. Now I'm going to say this is the last one for y'all. And I'm not talking about the Drake fans. I'm not talking about the KDOT fans. I'm talking about specifically some of the fans that sit here and try... <sighs> Some of the fans that just choose to be <sighs> missing the obvious and choose to live in this fucking delusion on the side of Drake. And there's some of them that will admit that they lost, but there's also some of them that are just so fucking naive. You see some of them go through anger. You see some of them go through a lot of fucking in, den in denial. And next thing you know, you see them literally go through a fucking wellow of fucking tears. I have never seen such a delusional fucking fan base in my life. This is why I literally say this before. That some people in the Drake fan base are fucking, fucking Drake stands that just can't seem to realize when they fucking lost. And it messes them up mentally. And I'm like, what is it going to take for you motherfuckers to actually, like, understand that when it comes to just specifically a rapper, he is not capable of being that because of how lazy he has become. Why do I have to repeat myself, man? Like, oh. I'm saying this one last time, and I'm going to bring this up one last time, because it feels like no one literally watched that last video I made. Do me a huge fucking favor. Stop fucking advocating for him so hard. And I'm not saying this to the Drake fans, I'm saying this for the super fans. Stop doing this shit to yourselves! You know he lost. Stop doing this shit to yourselves. Y'all acting like fucking fools! So I'm going to say this in the most calmest way possible because I'm too heated and I need to calm down. You guys need to actually get a grip and learn to take the fucking loss. Drake fans, regular Drake fans, y'all motherfuckers, y'all do everything you can. Y'all go back and forth here and there. Y'all side with him even though he can advocate for the things that is kind of dumb, but then you guys also do concede to a certain degree. So, at least I know the Drake fans, to a certain degree, learn how to actually take the L. But then there's the super fans that are just so conscious about what they want to do. It's like, man, you motherfuckers ain't gonna learn, are you? It's almost damaging how I have to sit here and tell you motherfuckers the same thing over and over again. Because I have to say it to you just to get it through your fucking skulls. First of all, I want to pray. I want to pray for some of the Drake fans for taking this out. Because one thing for sure is that this is egregious. I feel bad for y'all that you had to go through this. I, I, I said this before. I'll say this again. As stubborn as Drake is, I still I still expected him to literally lose. Because there was a reason why I expected him to lose. But y'all motherfuckers didn't deserve this. None of this shit. Like, the egregious shit I'm seeing on Twitter is just not surprising to me. Because I'm just like, hmm. I know Drake is taking a loss. 
But you motherfuckers do not need to pray on this man to die. <laughs> like, I feel like you guys are just, like, so close into going this far. Like, y'all motherfuckers on Twitter are just egregious. That is just terrible and fucking sad. So I am going to apologize on behalf of some of the Drake fans who didn't deserve that type of, like, reaction. Because Drake got his house shot up and someone literally got injured. No one doesn't deserve that and you motherfuckers know that. Y'all motherfuckers know that. Anyway, back to the conversation at hand. Because... I'm willing to talk about this right now because I think it's safe to say. Um, besides the um, super fans and all that stuff, this war was terrible from start to finish. Because one thing for sure is that although Dr although Kendrick came out with a win on this one. I think people need to understand that this is only egregious. But here's my issue with some of the allegations towards Kendrick. Some of those were already mentioned in his um, his album right here. I feel like people forgot this. Like, he said this shit in his albums. Or at least in the album itself. So I'm kind of... I'm kind of surprised people are just picking up on the fact that this happened, like, one of the few songs literally bring it up. I just don't understand how you guys literally, like, completely missed this, but apparently everybody forgot that shit in this album specifically. I don't know how. Like, it was abundantly obvious he admitted this shit. I just don't understand how you guys could have literally, like, not figured this out. <laughs> but, hey, man. Hey, man. <sighs> this is the last time I'm talking about, about Drake and rap in general. Because at this point, Drake needs to keep himself out of these diss tracks, out of these beefs that are not on his fucking level. Because at certain points, when they're above his level... He struggles and still continues to go down the road of not giving up. And that's what literally causes his fucking downfall. And it's like, <sighs> he doesn't need to do this. He does not need to prove anything. You can be literally one of the best artists in your generation. You can do that. That's something that you can do, but instead, you try to challenge people that are above your fucking level, dude. And then you have Drake superfans who completely dismiss some of the dumbest shit that this man do. And then not only that, surprise, surprise, you literally let him go on literally the setup argument? You all do realize that Drake is... One, incredibly stupid for this, because one, there's no way in hell you could set yourself up in a situation to where you sent this shit to KDOT an hour after the song and the diss tracks released. Because keep in mind, the diss tracks that were made beforehand were an hour apart. And you're expecting me to believe that you set this up. Again, I'll say this one last time. Y'all motherfuckers need to take accountability. Because this is what I was talking about when I say, you motherfuckers don't know better. You don't fucking know any better. And people have to say it in front of you. But now you want to sit here and fucking cry? All because, oh, he's losing? Nigga, what the fuck have I been saying to you niggas? Stop rooting for him when these motherfuckers are above a fucking level higher than him. It's a done deal. This is why I keep telling people to stop fucking comparing rappers that are not even in the same wavelength. 
Why are we having this conversation? Holy shit! <sighs> yeah, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'll see y'all next time. This is the last one.